we stand up for the same principles of inviolability of territory integrity. Um, for somebody who comes from Europe, I can only say if we give up this principle of territory integrity of um, countries, then we will not be able to maintain the peaceful order of Europe that we've been able to achieve. And this is not just any old point. It's an essential, a crucial point, and we have to stand by it. And Russia has violated the territorial integrity of Ukraine in two respects, in Crimea and also in Donetsk and Luhansk. So we are called upon now to come up with solutions, but not in the sense of a, a mediator, but we also stand up for the interests of the European peaceful order. And this is what the French president and I have been trying to do over the past few days. We're going to continue those efforts, and I'm very grateful that throughout the Ukraine crisis, we have been in very, very close contact with the um, United States of America and Europe uh, on uh, sanctions, on diplomatic initiatives, and uh, this is going to be continued. And I think that's indeed one of the most important messages we can send uh, to Russia and need to send to Russia. We continue uh, to pursue a diplomatic solution, although we have suffered a lot of setbacks. These days we will see whether all sides are ready and willing to come to a negotiated settlement. I've always said I don't see a military solution to this conflict, but we have to put all our efforts in bringing about a diplomatic solution. So